Hey guys, it's Rob here from Dodge and Fusky in for PluginBoutique.com and today I'm going to be having a quick look at a plugin called Filter Shaper 3 and show you a few examples of how I've been using it. Okay, so first of all I'm going to start off pretty simple. I'm going to show you how this plugin could be used in a kind of typical kind of dubstep wobble environment and how it sound. So here I've got it just running on a massive patch on top. Now all of the wobble stuff's been done in the uh, the filter plugin itself. If I disable it, you can hear how it sounds on its own. So what the main parts of the plugin are that I'll go through very quickly is you've got two filters here. Now you can use them uh, separately, so you could pan one left, one right, you could have them doing different things. Personally, I just tend to use the one filter, but there's a whole lot of stuff that you can do with this plugin we'll run through very shortly. The main part down here, this is your uh, kind of LFO waveform that runs through at a speed that you can define. And as you can see here, you can also automate this speed. So you can have a kind of a standard sine waveform, or you can completely draw, as you'll see shortly, we'll look at some different examples, completely custom envelope shapes and automate the speed that they run at. So obviously that's a little bit more than you might be able to do in every synth. And also if you're bored of the kind of filters that come in massive or any other plugins, then uh, you've got a whole other load of different ones that sound entirely different. Um, to ch choose from here. Another cool feature that I've found is there's a mode, I'm going to load up the instance on this channel here, where rather than using LFO you can set it to uh, an envelope follower. So I'm going to show you what that does is if you haven't got it turned on and you've got a sound where the uh, there's like an envelope on the volume and the intensity of the sound, that will trigger the envelope uh, like this. So you can make kind of instant playable kind of wobble noises. Using any input source. So you could, in theory, you could kind of go ah, ah with your voice and make kind of dubstep wobbles with your voice or any kind of anything else that I haven't thought of. Um, it's going to run through a few other instances as well. So uh, I've done the same thing on another instance of this uh, using some white noise into it. So if you hit it, you can make kind of like laser noises. And that's just literally some white noise going into it. So that's pretty cool. Um, so you could use it. it's great for making special effects. Another thing which is kind of handy for is it's not just limited to using the filters for doing modulation. So for here, on this one here, you can see there's a slightly different waveform, almost a bit like a plugin called LFO tool uh, or other envelope shaping plugins. You can use it to, to control volume. So this is emulating a kind of 4-4 a sidechain. Another thing that's cool is, as you can see here, is it shows you waveforms moving in real time, so you can see the effect it's having on your audio. Another really cool feature I've found you can use this plugin for is making kind of long sweeping effects like risers and all this kind of stuff. Now, obviously, a lot of people use sample packs to get those kind of effects, but it's very easy to make one with this. There's a preset that actually comes with it um, called Filter Sweep Fade, and as you can see, it's just a long low pass filter closing over eight bars here. Now, if I show you how this sounds just without the filter running. I've just got some white noise that's been had the low end taken out of it. Now with the filter shaper turned back on, you will hear how this can immediately make one of these kind of classic sweep sounds. And obviously you could use it the other way around with a high pass filter. So it's, it's really cool for just getting usable effects very quickly. I think that's one of my favourite things. It's great for making quick wobble noises if your synth that you're using doesn't have very nice filters, but it's even better for effects. And also one of the really cool things about it is there's a massive library and this is full of user generated stuff. You can upload, uh, you can see the, the author here, you can create your own presets, upload them to the internet and you can download them. There's pages and pages of these presets that you can kind of play with and it's great for making anything from um, kind of quick weird sounds. All the way through to, to more traditional kind of wobbly noises or kind of mogi tones. So yeah, hopefully that's been useful. This has been Rob from Dodge and Fusky and for Plugin Boutique, and hopefully that's given you a good idea of some of the things that Filter Shaper can do. Yeah.